This is an integrated high voltage pulse generator. It's safety ground. High voltage ground sampling ground connect to this ground one foot signal is collected. This is the high voltage output line. Time relay. Voltmeter emitter. Power socket. Here is the fuse. This is the switch. Automatic discharge knob. Start button. Stop button. Boost knob. The high voltage output line is connected to the 40 phase of the cable. This is the cable fault simulation cabinet. 1-4-ke round wire is connected to the armor pile. Armor pile grounding. Get started now. Turn on. Turn the boost knob to the zero position. The zero position light is on. Click to start. The HV light is on. The relay displays a discharge. Every few seconds, turn the boost knob to start boosting. Raise the voltage to 10 kV. After 6 seconds of discharge, the voltage decreases instantaneously, and the cable breaks down. Start sampling with cable fault tester. This product can be sampled by high voltage flashover method, multiple pulse method, low voltage pulse method. We first demonstrate the high voltage flashover method. Put the sampling box next to the sampling line. Let's introduce the host first. This is the sampling line interface. The grounding post and a stylus is attached to it. Power indicator. Two USB ports. DC means it is powered by lithium battery. AC means the 220V power supply socket. Here is the fuse. This is the power button. This is the reset button. These two are waveform adjustment knobs. Use these two knobs to adjust the waveform. In the middle is the working line. Now switch to DC state. Press the power button. After the fault clicks through, connect the sampling box for sampling. Wave speed 172 mi microsecond. The mode is selected as HV flashover method. Connect the sampling box. Click to sample. The high voltage pulse generator discharges and impacts once, and the host automatically samples once. Use these two knobs to adjust the waveform. Adjust for a while, and after each discharge, after the waveform appears, then adjust. After acquiring the waveform, cancel the sampling. Waveforms can also be compressed and expanded here. Local and global observation of waveforms. Now to analyze the waveform, we use the second waveform to analyze its starting point and inflection point are relatively clear. Here move the cursor. Place the first cursor at the rising start of this waveform.
The second cursor is placed at the falling start point of this waveform. In this way, the distance to fold can be measured From the waveform diagram, we can see that the first waveform is not standard. The amplitude behind this waveform is not obvious. If such a waveform appears, the voltage can continue to rise. After the test is completed, when the relay shows 6 seconds of discharge, press the stop key, turn the boost knob to zero. Zero light is on. Press the discharge button to discharge and observe the voltmeter. Continue to discharge with the discharge rod as shown in the video. The following describes the multiple pulse method. The HV output of the high voltage pulse generator is wired to the HV input of the coupler. Output line of coupler is connected to cable 40 phase. The cable ground is connected to the cable arm power through this ground wire. The signal line will be connected to the host. Set the testing mode to multiple pulses arc. The delay factor is adjusted to 5. After adjusting, connect the signal line and click sample. After acquiring the waveform, adjust the waveform through the displacement and amplitude knobs. After adjusting the waveform, cancel the sampling, put the two waveforms together. Place the first cursor at the starting point where the two waveforms overlap. Place the second cursor at the starting point where the two waveforms are separated. Then the distance between the two cursors is the cable fault distance. After the test is completed, the high voltage pulse generator is also discharged and then shut down. The following is the low voltage pulse method can test the length of the cable, short circuit, open circuit fault, 
the wave speed is adjusted to 172 mi microsecond. The cable length is selected according to the field cable conditions, less than 1 km, less than 3 km, longer than 3 km. Our analog cable is less than 1 km. Red and black clips, high voltage cables, and low voltage cables can all be detected. Face and face, face and armor can also be detected. After clipping the cable, start sampling. After the waveform comes out, adjust the waveform by displacement and amplitude knob. Place the first cursor at the downward starting inflection point of the waveform and the second cursor at the downward starting inflection point of the second waveform. This waveform is the reflected waveform from the end of the cable, which is an open circuit waveform, pointing downwards, this is the cable fault distance. We short circuit the end of the cable to see the waveform changes. And sampling. The starting point of the first cursor is still placed at the downward starting point of this waveform. The second cursor is placed at the starting point where the second waveform begins to rise. This is the cable fault distance under short circuit conditions. 